How's it going guys? Malcolm Richmond in the house. And remember last time I did the popcorn, it was candy pop popcorns with M&M minis, which was pretty good. The M&M minis had a problem sticking to the popcorn. But now today we have Fruity Pebbles. We have Fruity Pebbles popcorn. It's a cereal popcorn, so we're going to see what's going on with it. Go ahead and roll. Not much on here. Okay, I can see right now that the uh, that the Fruity Pebbles is like st stuck to the popcorn with like like a a white frosting type thing, which I guess is supposed to emulate milk, but it's not. Uh, you see, it's not really it's not really uh, sticking to the, the popcorn very well. So it's kind of a mess. It's a mess. I don't know what's going on with these guys. And the Fruity Pebbles is like broken up into like even smaller. Fruity Pebbles is small already, but now it's like it's like crumbs, it's like and like drizzles of white frosting, and then they just try to throw the crumbs of the Fruity Pebbles on top of the popcorn, hoping it sticks. And for the most part, as you can see, it did not. They got all the crumbs and the pieces of frosting still stuck to the Fruity Pebbles. And here's the popcorn with like. Nothing on it, no frosting nor any um, fruity pebbles. So, in the taste, it just tastes like fruity pebbles and frosting. Like if you made a um, rice krispie treat but using fruity pebbles instead, go with popcorn instead of the rice krispie. So, it's not not good, not bad. This gets a five out of ten, guys. Thank you guys for watching today, and I will taste you next time.